Hello. We just woke up not too long ago. We're still in our old place for <clears throat> a little bit longer. You might have noticed some progress with the arts not on the walls anymore. We've actually started packing this week. If you're new here, this is Bruce. <laughs> and we're moving soon. Today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, I am going to end this dispute once and for all about side parts and middle parts because I am of the old generation, <laughs> apparently, but I am, obviously. Um, I'm a millennial and I have, the day I was born, I had a side part. So this is the thing I don't understand about the side part versus the middle part thing because some people are just born with side parts. It's not a choice. I'm gonna take my glasses off. So I was never provided the option of choosing to have a middle part. And I never thought about it much as a kid growing up. My mother has a, a cowlick in the front. My father has a cowlick in the front. All my siblings have the widow's peak. I don't really have one that much, just a little bit of one, I guess and we all have side parts. Nobody parts down the middle of the five people that I'm most closely related to. And I just woke up, this is my hair. When I take it out, side part. <laughs> my hair has always parted to this side. You see right there, it just goes there. Um, if I'm feeling extra spicy, sorry Bruce. I can flip my cowlick to the other side and it gives it a lot more lift, but I cannot part it down the middle. And I did, in my younger years, attempt to have bangs, and I don't know if anyone's ever tried to do bangs with a cowlick in the front of their head. Basically, your hair just goes like that, it sticks right up. And I also did try to do a middle part when I was in my teenage years, because back then it was cool too. But you just get this. I have a <laughs> huge bump going up and over on this side because my hair does not want to like ever like lay flat down. And then this side kind of just goes like that because it's used to being, so it looks ridiculous. So today we're gonna try the middle part, but really I'm gonna put a lot of effort in. I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna blow dry it down the middle because this is like how it parts when I get out of the shower even. Oh, do, 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 do. I'm going to do everything I can in my power to create the most sleek and smooth middle part you've ever seen. And we'll see how I look. If I look younger and cooler or if I look ridiculous. Um, yeah, so. Oh, look at him. He's tired. Woo, are you tired? Oh. down on the bed there you go just to further cement home that I don't do a, a middle part well like I've even tried like this is just dry hair how it naturally is after I've washed it and I try to go down the middle like that's what it like look at the front even won't I don't even know how to make a straight line down the middle. <laughs> Look how stupid that was. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm gonna go attempt to change my life with the middle part. Bruce, you don't even, you look at this, you have a middle part, look at that. It's so symmetrical. You're so symmetrical. You are, oh, oh, wants to play. Do you want to go shower? Okay, come on. Let's go. I'm 
Okay, so I got out of the shower, washed shampooed, and you can already see when I pull my hair out of the towel that I already have a side part. And when I pulled it apart to make a middle part, it looked pretty good, but it wasn't in the middle of my head. It was a little bit off to the side. So I'm supposed to take a fine tooth comb and draw an actual straight line, which I do, but the front always seems to have an issue with <laughs> straightening out there's very stubborn hairs there in the front but i did my best to make a straight line that actually went all the way down to my forehead Ta-da! and so for blow drying my hair i decided i was going to section off each side to try and maintain that middle part so i wouldn't have to keep redoing it again because hairs keep trying to flip to the other side constantly so i combed it out and then just did a little braid on one side just to try and keep the hairs from rebelling back to their homeland and then i got down to work blow drying which takes a long time with my hair it's getting pretty long thanks to the pandemic i haven't had a haircut for probably almost a year and a half. I have one scheduled for my birthday coming up. I usually always schedule a hair appointment on my birthday because it's like my little treat to me. And I also decided to run a flat iron through my hair because I haven't blow dried my hair in quite a while and it was very poofy. And I could tell once my hair was blow dried and flat ironed that that was not gonna be enough because my natural cowlick was still pulling the hairs up from my head. So I put bobby pins and a barrette in my hair on the part that was really lifting up in hopes that, because my hair was still a bit warm from the heat, that as it cooled, that it would lie flatter. And yeah, that's my attempt. It took me a good 20 minutes. So hopefully that's good enough. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. As you saw in the bathroom, I put some clips on just to like really hold it down because this side really wants to like lift up so I did my best and I also added some like smoothing spray to it which actually I realized was primer that I should have like heat protecting primer that I should have put on before I blow dried and uh, flat ironed my hair but you know live you learn so so I'm just taking out the bobby pins and yeah I wanted to put the full effort in you know I don't want to you know try and manipulate anybody by not at least adding some mascara to my face and cute outfit but here is what a side part looks like and I decided to flat iron just because my hair I haven't blow dried it in a long time and it gets very like poofy on the bottoms so ta-da here we are middle part um, it takes a lot of work this would definitely not happen naturally with my hair, so all the effort that you just saw is what I would need to do in order to maintain it or at least maybe train it to not go to the side. So what do you think? I think it looks weird. I think that I look like I have a flat head. <laughs> and I guess maybe I've just adjusted to that side part life, you know? The side part life chose me. I did not choose the side part life, but it is what I have had my entire life, so. Comment below and let me know. Side part, middle part. What do you think? What do you think about this whole argument anyways? Do Gen Z people not understand that people have genetics that make them have cowlicks and you can't always have a middle part and not everyone's born that way? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you just how easy it is now to go back to my side part, which I think personally looks better. Okay, one final look. Middle part, tucked behind my ears, kind of holds that part down a bit better. Bruce, what do you think? And back to the side part. Just like that, all that work is undone. And we're back to a side part. What do you guys think? This is my, this is the familiar look here. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think mom looks better with? Side part, middle part. I don't think he really cares. That's the beauty of dogs. You don't care what I look like. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this very important conversation and sharing your opinions. You know, sometimes we just have to talk about the fun, light stuff because life can be heavy enough. Sometimes you just want to talk about the middle part versus the side part versus the cowlick. Right? So that's this week. 
and we're packing and we're moving and soon I will be doing a video about that I guess and then uh, we'll be in our new place. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye.